Hello everyone, welcome to the Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. On today's episode, we're looking at the new update for Topaz Denoise AI, that's version 2.2.2. So if you already own Topaz Denoise AI, that's a free update for you. You're going to want to grab it because it has this new feature called low light mode, which if you have high ISO images, it'll do amazing, crazy things to them to correct them. It, it's, it's remarkable. And you're going to see that all here today. And then at the end of this video, we're going to do comparisons. I'm going to, you know, I'm doing noise reduction with Lightroom and sharpening with Lightroom as well as Topaz Denoise AI. And we're going to compare them and see how they stack up against against each other which one is the winner hey so let's get into this uh right now here we go here we are in lightroom now i have these four images the two images on the top are shot with iso 6400 so very high noise the bottom two images were iso 12800 i used the canon 5d mark ii it can get kind of noisy especially with these really high isos for this test, there's no adjustments on them, there's no sharpening, there's no noise reduction whatsoever. We're going to send these images into Topaz Denoise AI and run the uh, new low light mode on it and compare it to the original Topaz Denoise AI and see the difference. And then we're going to bring those images back into Lightroom. I'm going to run the uh, auto settings on them in Lightroom and then I'm going to take the original camera raw images and use Lightroom's noise reduction and then run the auto adjustments on those. And then we're gonna compare the Topaz Denoise versions with the Lightroom versions of noise reduction and we'll see how they compare with one another. Let's send our first image into Topaz Denoise. I'm gonna right click, edit in uh, Topaz Denoise AI. Now we have some options. I'm gonna send it in as a TIFF file. It's a very high resolution, no loss in it. Uh, using the Pro Photo uh, color space, that's the highest color space, so we want to use that. I'm going to use the bit depth of 16, resolution of 300, no compression whatsoever. Click Edit, and that'll send us right into Topaz Denoise. Here we are in Topaz Denoise. Okay, the image on the left is going to be our before, the image on the right will be our after. I'm going to click on View right here. I'm in the uh, side by side view, I like that because when I See the little hand tool? If I move my mouse on the left-hand side of the screen and move this around a little bit, these images will move in tandem, and I like that. If you want to look at a different part of your image, or you can go with the split view with the split screen, and you can do that little wipe thing where it wipes across, or you can go with the single view, so that's nice. For all my tests, except, I believe, uh, the third image, because it was shot in the evening hours at ISO 12,800, I, have, I had to use a little bit of extra noise reduction on that one. But anyway, on this particular image, I'm going to leave it on auto detect. And right now it is in the original denoise uh, algorithm or whatever you want to call it. Okay. And I haven't showed you the low light mode yet. So remember the low light mode is for high ISO images. And this is one because it's ISO 6400. Take a look at the image on the, on the right here. You can see there's still a little bit of noise there even in the auto detect settings. Okay. So let's click on low light mode now and see the difference and look it cleaned it right up so it does a beautiful job i don't know what these guys at topaz do but they are amazing and so there's our first image now we're going to go on to the second and remember at the end we're going to make a lot of comparisons so you want to stick around for this whole video i'm just going to click save image Here's our next image, and this is again ISO 6400. Image on the left is the before. You can see all the noise in there. The image on the right is the after. We're using auto detect settings, so Denoise is choosing our remove noise and sharpen levels for us. Another great feature of Denoise AI, it has a really great sharpening engine built into it as well. It's not as elaborate as what you'll find in Topaz Sharpen AI, but it is really, really great. So there's the low light mode. Now you can see a little bit of noise up here. Let's zoom into uh, 200% so we can really get a look here. See up in this area right here compared to this side here. You can see there's still some noise right there. Now let's see what happens when we click it on the uh, low light mode. Let's turn that on and let it go ahead and do its thing. But look, it cleaned that noise right up. That noise is no longer there. Let's zoom back out to 100%. And there on the left is the before, and there on the right is the after. So pretty.
pretty amazing results. Now we're looking at ISO 12800 and this was shot in the evening hours. Okay, so it's really a bad noise image. So look at the left, here's the before and look at the right, here's the after in the uh, normal mode right here. And you can see there's still a lot of noise in there. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on low light mode and see what the difference is. Okay, as you can see, it's a lot better. Now, there's still just a tiny bit of noise in there, and I told you I was going to keep everything standard, but I want to show you something I think you'll find very interesting here. This one needs a little bit more noise reduction, so what I'm going to do is bump this up to the right a little bit and let it do its thing. Maybe just a little tiny bit more right there. Yeah, the noise is gone. And look at, look at the face and the whiskers and everything. And don't forget it's doing sharpening as well. I'm leaving the uh, sharpening at the default setting that auto picked for me. Now let's go back to the normal mode in the off position with the increased noise reduction. All right. Look how smooth the face is here and even the hair and the whiskers here. Now check it out when I click it on the uh, low light mode. See how the hair gets more refined in the whiskers and the noise back there looks great. So it doesn't have that waxy look or that um, plastic look. Okay, so let's go back to the standard mode. See how it looks a little bit plastic? And now I'll put it back on the low light mode. Originally, like I said, I was going to keep everything on the auto detect settings, but this image was so noisy at ISO 12,800 shot in the evening, it needed that extra noise reduction. Now we're on our final image, ISO 12,800. Image on the left is the before, image on the right is after. We're in the normal mode right here. So you can see there's still a little bit of noise in there. And let's click on the low light mode now and see the difference. Yeah, look at that. That is really, that's amazing, actually. Okay, let's go back to the uh, standard. There's the standard, and here is the low light. And let's move around a little bit here. Let's take a look at the background up here. Okay, so this is the low light, and now let's click on the standard. Yeah. You can see there's a little bit of noise back up in here. Can you see it right there? Let's go to 200% so you can really see. Let's go, let's pull down a little bit. Let's look up in this area right in here. See right in here? Now let's go to the low light mode here. And it's totally clean. Yeah, it, it's truly amazing. Let me go back to, let's go to 50%. I don't think I showed you 50%. You can do 50%, 100%. What's the other one? 50, 100, 200, and 400. And there's even uh, shortcuts for that you can use. Okay, so we're in the uh, low light mode, but there it is. I'm just wondering, do I want to give this a little bit more noise reduction? I might. I might just give it a little bit more. I know I said I wouldn't, but I'm sorry. I just see just a tiny bit of noise in the baby's face. I think that looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and save it out and then we'll be back in Lightroom. And now we're back in Lightroom ready for our comparison tests. The image on the left will always be the Topaz Denoise AI image. The image on the right will always be the Lightroom image with Lightroom's noise reduction and sharpening. I went ahead and did all the adjustments, used the auto settings for both images. And again, the image on the right will have uh, Lightroom noise reduction and sharpening. I'm in this comparison mode here in the library module, this XY here. I just have these two images selected. And this is nice because it lets, when I zoom in, and I will be zooming into, um, let's see, let's zoom into one-to-one -one here. Okay, so we're zoomed into one-to-one. -one. Okay, so again, the image on the left is Topaz Denoise, the image on the right is Lightroom. Look how the image on the right is very uh, plasticky looking. Because remember, it's ISO 6400. I really had to jack up the, the, the noise reduction on that Lightroom image. Now, I didn't overdo it, believe me. I, I used good practice here, okay? But that's the result right there. But look how much more detail we have in the image on the right. Look at the hair, little fine hairs in the head here. But over here, you can kind of see them, but they're kind of, you know, not very sharp. But look at the hair up here. It just 
there's no definition, but look over here. And as we, we can zoom around and see, even down in here, all the details in here in the hand. Look at this hand over here. It's totally smooth. But the denoise image on the left, you can see the textures in the skin. And, you know, the definition is so much better. Well, I got to give it to uh, Denoise AI on the first image. Great results. And here's our second image, the flower image. I believe it's Columbine. Uh, image on the left again is Denoise. The image on the right is Lightroom. So let's go ahead and zoom in here. This is one to one. Okay, look at all this definition in here. There's no noise whatsoever. Look at all the detail, how sharp this is in this area. The flower, really nice. But look at this image over here. It is like the noise is gone, but it's soft and it kind of has that smooth, again, that plastic look. But look at all the detail in here. It's, it's really crazy. Let's even zoom in. Uh, let's zoom into two to one and take a look. Look at that. Look at all this detail in here. And look over here. Pretty crazy results. Well, that was the second image. Now, that was ISO 6400. The next image up will be ISO 12800 shot in the evening hour. So it was totally noisy. A total throwaway image. This one, you know, evening hours, ISO 12800, as I just said, horrible throw out this image. It sucks. So let's go ahead again and zoom in. The image on the left here, again, is Topaz Denoise AI. One-to-one -one zoom. Look at that. Look at the mustache here. Look at the hair. Look at the image on the right. Total plastic faces. No detail. No detail in the skin. You can still see noise in the background here. There's no noise here at all. But look at the detail and how sharp it is. That is mind-blowing, I got to say. This is a total win right here for Denoise AI. So far, Denoise AI 3, Lightroom zero here's the final image but take a look at the denoise image look at the detail in this bib here look over here so much detail is just totally like gone away look at the face it's so plastic it's, it's horrible i mean topaz denoise ai there's nothing like you i gotta say let's go ahead and zoom in now one to one let's take a look at the face Look at the eyelashes there. You can see the details and the definition in the face, but the right look at it, it's just horribly plastic, awful, and no noise at all in the background. ISO 12,800 on a Canon 5D Mark II, a camera not known for good noise characteristics. But, hey, who cares when you got something like Topaz Denoise AI, does it really matter. Topaz Denoise AI version 2.2.2 with that new low light mode in it for high ISO images. Amazing as you can see from the results we had today in these tests. I hope they really helped you. What a great piece of software and I mean it won hands down over Lightroom as you can clearly see here. I use it all the time and I've always been a big believer in the uh, Topaz Denoise products. They've always been the best. Hey, if you enjoyed this tutorial today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. If you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe and click that bell notification icon. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today on the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, as always, happy editing.